Yeah, it's, it's been great. Um, I had pretty high expectations coming into preseason, and the girls have definitely exceeded those. Um, you know, they've surprised me with how, how hard they're working, um, you know, the maximum effort that they're putting in at all times, um, but also their skill and their volleyball IQ has really increased since the spring, which is great to see. Yeah, I was very fortunate to come in and have Katie and Bridget leading the team as seniors. Bridget leads the summit with digs per set um, and is one of the leading um, liberos in the nation with digs per set. So that's always always great to have that skill leadership, but her vocal leadership and just who she is as, as an athlete and as a person really brings a lot to the team. Um, Katie's coming back strong this year. She put in a lot of work this summer. Um, I think this is going to be her peak season, her best season that she's had since she's been here at Western. Heather Smith's coming in, she's taken a different role on the team for us. She's really embraced that role, she's doing wonderful there. Um, so we're really looking forward to highlighting her this season a little bit more than she has been in the past. Sarah Fetter is our junior setter. She's, uh, she's put a lot of work this summer too, she's coming back, her hands look great. Um, and she's really taking on a, a bigger leadership role than she did in the spring when I saw her. Um, and it's, it's been wonderful. The team's really embraced her as our setter. She's doing a wonderful job. Yeah, we have eight underclassmen. You know, on a team of 12, that's, that's a lot. And they really have big roles to take on this year. And so far, it's been great. You know, they're, they're working hard. The skill's there. The IQ is there. And, and they want to come out and win. So we're really relying a lot on our underclassmen to step up soon. And I think it's going to be a good, good thing for us. Being on the road for three straight weekends is, is tough. Um, but it's character building, especially for, for this team. So we're really looking forward to, to getting out there on the road for those three weekends and seeing what we're made of. You know, we're going back to Edwardsville. We were you know, we won the tournament last year. We want to repeat that this year. Um, it's going to be tough for us. There's a little bit t tougher competition at the tournament this year, but I think, I think we'll come out on top with the way that we've been looking so far. You know, going to ISU, same kind of deal. You know, we, we want to win. Um, we want to repeat what we did last year. And then Butler, Butler is going to be tough. We play Indiana, you know, a, a top Big Ten team, you know, a top team in the nation. Um, usually and and Butler's tough as well they just change conferences and and they're pumped and they're they're ready to go out there and win their home tournament so it's it's going to be a tough three weekends but for us it's just going to show us what we're made of and where we're going to go from here we've changed our locker room we've changed our look you know we have new practice uniforms we've changed our mentality and I think that's going to show especially at home and the girls want to show that off. They want to show it off to the community. They want to show it off to the students here. And I mean, I, I can't say better things about being at home, those three matches. And starting our conference play, you know, we're coming, we're coming in from last, um, last place last year. The girls have a lot to prove to themselves and to the Summit League and to this university. And they're ready to go. And as a staff, we're ready to go as well. Yeah, you know, I wanted to add in St. Louis to add in a little bit tougher match for us. I think that that's going to just build us um, even more, especially it's, it's kind of in the middle of the season. And we want, we want to still be strong at that point and be at our peak and, and be on the uprise. Um, and Chicago State, again, it's going to be a tough match away. Uh, we're looking forward to going to both places. You know, they can see a revitalized team um, and a re revitalized staff. The energy is so different in that gym. The atmosphere is, has changed, and I'm so excited, and the girls are so excited to show that to everybody. So I think they're going to see great fundamental volleyball, but they're also going to see a, a new energy that we're really excited to show. You know, we want fans to come out and, and support the volleyball team. It's, uh, 
it's going to be something new. We've got things that we're going to be doing for the fans at games. You know, we have serving contests where they can win different things. We're going to be giving away a TV at one point. I believe that's Spirit Weekend. Um, you know, T-shirts every match. We're going to be thrown out to the crowd. You know, those are incentives for you to come. But ultimately, the biggest incentive is, is to watch these athletes play well and win and play for their school um, and give it everything that they have. So, you know, we want the fans to come out. We want the community to come out um, just so we can show them that as much as they've given us, we're going to give back to them through our play.